Yo, what's going on? You're checking out QGN HQ. My name is Chris. Welcome back to the channel. If you guys remember during the hype of Fortnite, we also had the Ducky 1 2 Mini. These two things were all the craze. They sort of came together and the Frozen Llama theme was born. Since then, it is sold out time and time again, especially on third party websites for like triple retail price. And here in 2021, uh, we're not done. It's back again for a second wave in the very popular Ducky Mecha keyboard. But this time, a little something extra to go along with it. MechanicalKeyboards.com dropped their very own exclusive Frozen Llama themed gaming mouse. This thing is lightweight, responsive, it looks pretty damn good, and it's got RGB. Let's go ahead and check it out. The first thing you're going to notice besides this beautiful colorway is the mouse's honeycomb shell, which is not only great for some extra grip, but it also keeps the weight down. This mouse body comes in at just 67 grams, which is a very light mouse. This mouse has an ergonomic right-handed grip and the body comes in at 122 by 67 by 42 millimeters. I must say, it feels really good in hand, all of the buttons line up perfectly and all feel very natural when using this mouse. Now I currently use the very popular Model O Wireless from Glorious as my daily driver and I feel if you had to compare this new Frozen Llama mouse to any other on the market today, it would be the Model O. The weight of the llama is actually a few grams lighter, but the Frozen Llama shell is slightly shorter and taller than the Model O. Personally, it comes up a little short from my palm grip, but not too noticeable and it is fairly easy to adjust to while gaming. Taking a look at the top of the mouse, we have the words Frozen Llama written on the right mouse button next to the scroll wheel, and I like the placement of the name Frozen Llama. It sort of just kind of matches in with the theme, it's not too in your face, and uh, I kind of like it. One thing I don't like though is this little Frozen Llama logo right here. It sits here in this little indent beneath the scroll wheel and I find myself constantly trying to press it in as a button. I keep thinking my DPI button's there. Uh, that's where most mice put their DPI button and I feel like it was sort of a missed opportunity here. Their DPI button is on the bottom of the mouse so in game or if you want to switch your DPI to turn your mouse over, which I think is just obnoxious. I want to just kind of hit my button real quick here and swap DPI. So that's kind of annoying. Uh, but let's talk about the scroll wheel. The scroll wheel I really do like. It has a nice rubberized textured grip for all of you people with slippy fingers out there. You know who you are. Uh, no wobble at all in this scroll wheel. And it, it's not too stiff or too loose to the press. I feel like the scroll wheel is going to last quite some time. And I really do like it. Now, moving on to the switches that they chose for this mouse. I absolutely love the switches they chose. They went ahead and they threw the Kale GM 8.0 Black Mamba switches in this mouse. They're good for about 80 million clicks. They're very responsive, very light to the touch. Uh, my only gripe with these switches are the sound feedback. They're very loud and clicky, um, and that can get a little annoying. I really feel that Mechanical Keyboards really took the time when designing these switches for this mouse. Everything except for that DPI button, uh, but everything just feels really natural to the touch. I mean, the scroll wheel is just money, and these side buttons here are like the perfect size. They don't protrude too much. They're very easy to hit. Navigating on this mouse is really just a breeze. Um, overall, uh, I think it's a really, really nice gaming mouse. Now, I do want to mention though, there is a slight rattle in my mouse, which kind of happened after some use. I don't know if I knocked something loose somehow or something just popped out. I haven't got the chance to open it up yet, but I do want to mention it in this review just in case, you know, people down the line have this problem. If it could turn into something bigger, I don't know. If any of you guys out there have a slight rattle in your mouse uh, and pick one of these up, let me know down below in the comments. Maybe it's just mine. I hope it's just mine, um, but time will tell. Underneath the mouse, we have four mouse glides and three buttons. One to toggle RGB on and off, one for adjustable DPI, and one for adjustable polling rate. You have a DPI choice of 400, 800, 1600, 3200, and 6200, and your choice of 125, 500, and 1000 hertz polling rate. Currently, I don't believe there's any software for this mouse, so everything is adjusted with these three buttons. Let's talk about the sensor. Mechanical keyboards did not slip up here. This mouse is equipped with the top-of-the-line Pixart 3389 sensor for high performance, 
accuracy, and responsiveness. This sensor is generally found in high quality mice and it is the perfect match for this lightweight mouse design. Trust me when I say this, it's every FPS player's dream. I've been using this mouse for Apex and Valorant competitive play and it doesn't miss a beat. Those flicks are on point. I mean, well, I, I miss beats like all the time, constantly missing headshots, but that's not the mouse's fault, that's my own. Um, the mouse is on point. The cable is a low friction, lightweight purple USB cable that measures six feet in length. So it has plenty of slack, nothing to worry about there. Uh, but I do wish it was a little thinner. Now I did mention that this mouse has RGB LEDs and I have to say, I really do like the positioning of the LEDs on this mouse. It's not too over the top and it doesn't take away from this beautiful Frozen Llama theme. The only glow that you will get on this mouse is under the tail end. And if you take a closer look, you'll see a little hidden llama beneath the mouse shell that will glow RGB as well. It's very subtle and hidden away. It's almost like a little Easter egg. I think that's actually pretty cool. Now control is very simple. Obviously it's all done through on the mouse. Just simultaneously press the scroll wheel in and mouse four or five to change the RGB glow. You get full rainbow, pulse and static colors. Everything that you basically look for and want in the RGB lighting spectrum is here on this mouse. Now the price of this mouse will run you $49.99 USD and I really feel that $50 price point is pretty spot on for what's available on the market these days when it comes to lightweight gaming mouse. Uh, not only is this mouse lightweight, super responsive, it looks really, really nice and they're not overcharging you for that Frozen Llama theme. So I do think it's priced appropriately. Now I also do believe this is gonna sell out probably pretty quickly so I would definitely head over to the website and pick one of these up if you're interested. Everything like always linked down below in the description if you wanna check it out. Um, that being said, how many of you guys out there are still playing Fortnite? I know those numbers have dropped drastically, but clearly the llama is still kicking over here. So I'm really curious to see how many of you guys are still playing that game. Uh, all that being said, I do stream, uh, on Thursday and Saturday nights, now 8 PM Eastern over on twitch.tv slash QGNHQ. So stop by and say what's up. Uh, and if you're new here, please consider subscribing, share the video with a friend, give it a huge thumbs up if you liked it. And if you want to become an official channel member, just go ahead and hit that join button down below. I appreciate all y'all. And uh, that's it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay safe out there. Peace out.